everyone welcome to my IGTV this is my first IGTV video today I'm going to talk about the gemstone of the month February which just happens to be Valentine month and which is this beautiful gemstone um, amethyst now before I get to this I need to address an issue I've been a gemologist and a jewelry designer for over 20 years and the first question that people ask me is um, do you believe in gemstones or which gemstone should I wear I think the question you might be really wanting to ask is do I believe that gemstones or birthstones are remedial or uh, remedial or uh, they are predictive like um, can I solve a problem in my life by wearing gemstones um, uh, the answer from my personal point of view is absolutely no I think that's a very very uh, very dangerous and um, uh, very um, like you can get lost in that space and I wouldn't recommend it at all um, also I am not an astrologer at all I don't have the knowledge that I'm sharing here is from my years as a gemologist and as a jeweler having dealt with gemstone and seeing how they work with people um, I am not an astrologer and I wouldn't recommend uh, that I think what happens is that you are in a very uh, typically uh, people want to wear birth uh, gemstones and you're a in a very um, vulnerable state in your life like say you want to get married but you're not getting married there are problems with your career you want to have a child you're not getting a child um, um, money issues like you're losing money in business and then people go to an astrologer and they say listen bro nothing is happening what do I do he's like yeah, blah blah where this yeah, tumara shani dar hai, tumara blah 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 and then you know you end up wearing this um i wouldn't prescribe it i think um you know for serious life issues you need practical solutions and you're just in a vulnerable space so uh, you know anything goes in that like you'll you'll turn to anything to get you out of that situation i wouldn't recommend that uh, which then begets the question that why wear gemstones or why wear birthstones like if it's not going to solve a problem in my life why should i wear it so I'll give you um, an example. I wear uh, this emerald and diamond ring. Now diamond, uh, because I'm a sun sign Taurus, diamonds are ruled by Venus, which governs the sun sign Taurus and Libra. Taurus and Libra both, both governed by uh, Venus. And emerald, because um, I am a moon sign Gemini. So when I was born, the sun was in Taurus, the moon was in Gemini. And... Um, the emerald is ruled by uh, mercury and um, sun sign gemini so the reason i wear this is because it's a personal talisman i wear it because it has a certain meaning to me like when i look at the diamond it reminds me that i i am supposed to have an inherent um, appreciation of beauty and uh, pleasure and luxury and uh, every time i feel that there is an ugliness in my life I turn to the diamonds every time I feel that I'm getting dull or you know sort of I am focusing a lot on the Taurus aspect of me it is very conventional very boring very focused very practical practical being the key word then I turn to uh, to the uh, to the mercury or uh, the emerald Gemini because Gemini is all about communication it's all about mental agility it's all about travel, which is uh, Gemini is short distance. Mercury is short distance travel. Long distance travel is uh, governed by Jupiter. Uh, and the stone for that is um, yellow sapphire. So um, I wear this because it speaks to me. I don't wear it to solve problems in my life and definitely not serious problems. I don't recommend that at all. Again, I'm saying I'm not an uh, astrologist. I'm not challenging astrologers saying you are rubbish it's a personal belief i don't believe in it as a gemologist i wouldn't advise uh, customers or clients to wear uh, gemstones for serious crisis in their life so now coming to the stone for february it's this beautiful lilac to purple amethyst now amethyst is ruled by the planet uranus and the sun sign aquarius Uranus is all about change, about challenging conventions, about being rebellious, about being the odd one out and uh, the change that Uranus brings. Now, our generation usually, like, I am born in um, the 70s, 
So the Uranus in for my entire generation for that entire decade was in Pluto was in well, I don't remember where well, Uranus was somewhere like if somebody knows where Uranus was for that uh, for that generation please tell me but Uranus is placed in one um, in one space for that entire generation because it's a very slow moving planet so uh, the change that Uranus brings is very sudden it's very eccentric like chal rahe, chal rahe, suddenly it will go like that or chal rahe, chal rahe, chal rahe, suddenly it will go like that so it will you know the changes are very eccentric um, they're not very um, they're not predictable changes uh, they're very eccentric and wherever um, Uranus is in your horoscope um, indicates where you will challenge convention so Uran if Uranus um, you know is in cancer you will you know your home life or your family life will be different you know what I mean so wherever Uranus is will be the place where you challenge convention and in this ring what we have done is we have combined two very beautiful gemstones one is the convention challenging or the rebellious Uranus and one is the pleasure loving Venus indicated by the diamonds now this is a very interesting combination uh, traditionally um, or cosmically Uranus and Venus are friends they get along. These planets get along, unlike Sun and Moon, which don't get along with Uranus. Um, also, um, Emerald and um, um, the blah blah, blah. Emerald and uh, Diamonds are a very good combination because Mercury and uh, Venus gets along. Apparently, Venus gets along with everybody, but um, um, Uranus and Venus get along really well. And I think this is a very interesting um, a space for. Uh, lovers or partners because it gives a very um, unconventional tinge to love so um, um, it's a it's a great choice if you're um, you know if you're wearing a combination or this is a single band that separates into two so he or she can wear this and he or she can wear this and you can be a same-sex couple, you can be a couple that chooses not to have children, you can be a couple who's living in. Um, it brings a sense of the unconventional, a sense of um, rebellion, a sense of excitement to love. So Uranus and Venus is, is a very, very interesting combination. I think if you're looking for an engagement ring or if you're looking for his and her rings for Valentine, Uranus and Venus is a really, really fantastic combination. So this was Uranus for February and I'll see you in March. Bye.